Hello everyone, and welcome to Frictional Games. Not Frictional Games. That's the faux. That's the frictional gurgle. The Cold Descent. <laughs> Sorry, I already opened wrong. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? This is The Cold Descent, which is a submission to the Frictional Games Monster Jam for 2023. I won't get into the exact specifics of the jam, but I will link all the links so you can find the game, so you can find all of the stuff provided. Now, what makes The Cold Descent interesting is that Dr. Plector, the creator of this, used AI to help write and direct, basically come up with all of the different details of even the, the monster designs and other aspects of this fan game. But I am super excited, so without any ado, let's go. Hopefully I have edited that to me. It any kind of sense. I have always been drawn to the unknown, to the unexplored, and I know that there are still places out there that I haven't been, that I haven't seen. But where? What's next? I know that there is still so much more out there to be explored, to be experienced, to be lived. But the world has changed. The once pristine wilderness is now marred by pollution. I like the transition there in the, in the audio. Even the remote, most, most remote places are affected by the actions of mankind. The ice caps are melting. The seas are rising. The beauty is fading. So, I've made my decision. Antarctica. The last great wilderness on Earth. A place of mystery and beauty. Yet so fragile and at risk. I have long dreamed of visiting this distant land. But now my sense of urgency is greater than ever. I knew it wouldn't be easy. I've spent months preparing, studying maps and weather patterns, mastering the art of moving through deep snow. But nothing could prepare me for the struggle I was about to be faced with. Have I made a mistake? Ta-da! Welcome. <clears throat> you might be wondering why the color is a little bit different. It seemed to run a lot better, or it seemed to run, sorry, a little bit better when I dropped all of the settings and the stylized effects. So I hope that's not too disappointing, but I don't have the computer that can run this super duper well. <laughs> Even on a 2080. So cold. Uh, no. I have to keep moving. Oh geez, this is really, really dark. WASD to move. I'm wondering if it's a little bit brighter with the stylized graphics. I'm slightly worried. <laughs> I'll try to brighten everything up as I can in post, but as far as I know, there aren't any settings. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Ignite Flare. Whoa. This starts out pretty cool though, so far. It's very spoopy. <laughs> if you think it's dark for you, oh, you have no idea. <laughs> My hands can't go on like this for much longer. No, you can do it, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Just imagine. At the end of the cave, there are pancakes. Thousands of them. Everywhere. Pancakes. People made out of pancakes. Pancakes made out of pan <gasps> Raspberry sauce. Juice sauce. So, oh no, am I? Uh oh, that's bad, I think, probably. I'm pretty sure that's bad. <laughs> and we are stuck. So this is about a 10 to 15 minute experience. And I wanted to fit this in the intro, but I didn't give myself enough time. But I do plan on playing the other submissions as well. I'd like to fit as much in as I can from all of the other cool stuff that people have made. And Frictional Games has put out a few of... I'd say my favorite horror games, uh, Soma and Amnesia, Amnesia, the original Amnesia the Dark Descent. Descending in the dark as we are right now. And Soma is just a fantastic horror classic. And Amnesia the Dark Descent spawned just a huge, a huge, like, I don't even know what to call it, like a golden age of horror video LPers. <laughs> and I just find that the ability for a game to do that and the timing of it is super interesting. I mean, and I, I like the game too. It doesn't hold up like super duper well right now, <laughs> but I think Soma does to be completely honest. And as this is built on Unreal Engine 5, so it does not use the fictional games as engine, but I believe, I'm assuming all of these use, um, or the, like the UI it appears is pretty similar so far. That's really cool. Hello? 
It felt... Or... <laughs> I feel like I'm hearing something. So this looks to be like an old abandoned mine shaft. Because of course they are. <laughs> oh, it looks like we do have crouching. It is a little flashy though. I do wish it wasn't quite as... Like the flashing effects weren't quite as strong. So <laughs> sorry about that, but... Okay. So we're getting, we're setting the mood here, the tone of everything. Ooh, is he crouched? Oh, way, oh, well, I was way ahead of him. <laughs> oh, what's that? Yo, what is that? That looks like lava, kind of, off in the distance. Hello? What is that? <laughs> That's extremely concerning, but really cool looking. <clears throat> It has come to our attention that a team of esteemed scientists will be arriving at our mining site next week on the 26th of October to conduct research and study the geological formations of the area. They have made a remarkable discovery and wish to further investigate the matter at hand. We, the miners of this establishment, are honored to aid in their research and to contribute to the advancement of scientific knowledge. We will make every effort to accommodate the esteemed scientists and their equipment and to provide them with any assistance they may require during their stay at our mine. At our very homely mine, as they say, Live, laugh, love. As the sign up above the door, so above the mine shaft, obviously. Oh wait, I lost my place. Ah! <laughs> we shall also ensure that our mining operations will not be the research in any way. Fantastic. So we did have some scientists come through before. Yo, that's really neat. I like the style of the drawings and stuff. That's really cool. I'm, I'm wondering if those, I think those are AI generated as well. It's a little laggy on my machine, which is a little, a little disappointing, but that's, you know, it is what it is. We'll deal with it. <laughs> okay. Can I, uh, ooh, it's even got the same, yo, that's really cool. Whoa, the fire looks really neat. Oh, I was thinking I need to twist it a la Soma. Not quite though, not quite. Can we pick up anything? No, we can't lift weights. Dang. Hello? I don't like this already. That's really dark. This is really, really dark. Again, I'm kind of wondering if there's a little bit more... Oh! Well, there we go. Oh. <laughs> is that going to get me banned off YouTube? I don't think so. Of course, it's always Nazis. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. We found out what the digging was for, what the mining was for. Not again. We've been tricked again. <laughs> it's always the damn Nazis. All right, is there anything else we can pick up? Oh, this is very, very laggy. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to. I'm probably going to try not to uh, talk about that too much. But <laughs> anyway, so I'm not entirely sure what this is. I don't know if th that looks like a tree or something is coming out of the ground. Almost kind of like a tree, but not really. Locked. It looks like we need something. There has to be. Oh. Oh, you can kind of see things through the solid wall. There has to be a way in. Okay. There's not... I don't suppose there's a key. Okay, there's no key behind the photos. Okay. Hello? Anything over the... Oh, okay. Nope, there's just an invisible wall. Oh, that's neat. It's lit by like a... It's lit by a flame. I know like nothing about mining. <laughs> I know this may come as a surprise, but I... I do oh, hello? Can you not do that? That was spoopy. Please don't. <laughs> e anywhere? Oh wait, hold on. We can crouch. So oh no, never mind. <laughs> Curse you stalactites or stalagmites or whichever you are. I don't remember. Wait, was that a? Oh, we have can. We have can physics. We can whip the cans. We cannot nay nay the cans. Oh wait, there we go. Oh yo, we don't need a key. We just got bolt cutters. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's go snap some. <gasps> oh my God! Holy hell! That was freaking scary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great, fantastic. There's our first jump scare. What the hell could have thrown that through, you might be asking yourself. Oh, that's a great fake out, though. That's a great fake out. I hate it, but I love it. <laughs> okay, don't mind me. Just, I'm um, gonna, you know, turn this little wheel here. And Anyone hanging out? Is the... I can't tell if there was something back there. So it looks like, it seems like there's like anomalous trees growing out here for some reason, somehow. Oh, today I discovered, or today, <clears throat> I and my team have made a most extraordinary discovery in the icy wastelands of Antarctica. 
We have uncovered traces of an ancient forest. Oh, well, there we go. An ancient forest. Estimated age, two and a half to three million years. Not only that, but we have found clear evidence of animal life in the form of fossilized remains. Further study is required to fully understand the implications of this finding. This discovery challenges previously held beliefs about the history of the con continent and the possibility of life in such harsh conditions. It is my hope that this discovery will contribute to the advancement of science and knowledge, despite the unfortunate circumstances of our current conflict. It is most ex it is a most exciting time to be a scientist. Ooh, mmm, interesting there, Mr. Johann Schmidt. If you saw me taking a drink of water, no, you didn't. Mm -hmm. 1944. Great, fantastic. What we do? Oh, oh, oh. Hello. I will say though, if there is a monster, I will not be able to run from it. Because <laughs> I will. Hello. I will be flopping around. I like. Okay, wait. Do we have uh, another twisty, turny, pulley thing? Hello. <laughs> Please don't be. Please don't be monsters. There's a lot you can grab, which is pretty neat. Grab rocks. Oh, that rock made no sound. That's fine. Well, it made a little bit of sound. Those are very sneaky rocks. I'm a little bit scared that turning that on is going to spawn something. <gasps> Yo, pick! We can go mining for diamonds. So, two and a half to three million years ago, there was a there was a forest biome for any zoomers in the. <laughs> That's what they mean. Oh my goodness gracious! So that's just a solid block of something. I'm not entirely sure if that's a chemical or something. I'm a little bit scared that... Hello? Hello? <laughs> I'm not paranoid, you're paranoid. Hey. Okay. Oh. Excuse me? It, there is there an invisible... Excuse me? Why is there an invisible wall in front of this? That's highly unusual. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Can we open any of these? Hello? No? Okay, that's fine. That looks like... Ew, is that like moldy milk? <gasps> A spoon! My spoon. Dr. Munchie would love... Oh, that's right! There's hidden Dr. Munchies! I haven't been looking for the Dr. Munchies! <clears throat> for the uninitiated, Dr. Munchie is a running meme, but also character in Frictional Games' as Soma. And he's kind of just been memed into notoriety within the fictional games community. And everyone loves him, and he is to be praised. He is everywhere and nowhere. He is eternal. He is. Dr. Munchie. I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to be. It kind of looks like a block of, like, marble or something. There's no notes on these, I suppose, so... I'm, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what those are. I'm... Are those sausages? Yo? We got some sausage? Hell yeah. Great. Dr. Munchie, would you like some sausage? Oh, yo! <gasps> There's even a pie here! Oh my gosh, give me that pie. Okay. And a shovel. Great. More pictures, though, at least, to look at. Anyone, anyone over here? Do we still have... I think we still have a... I think we still have a flare... <clears throat> on. I do wish I could like put it away though, just because in these well lit areas it's kind of annoying to have it <laughs> constantly on. <laughs> but oh well. Oh, we missed this one. No, we didn't. Never mind. I take that back. I'm a liar. Wait, where was the other ones? Oh, they were right here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Aha! Utilizing our specialized cutting equipment, we were able to extract samples of ancient plant and animal life from deep below the Antarctic nice ice. Nice ice. <laughs> the specimens, estimated to be between two and a half to three million years old, are in an astounding condition. The preservation of these samples is truly remarkable with little to no signs of degradation, despite the passing of eons. The successful revival of these specimens represents a significant advancement in the field of cryogenic preservation and we will provide the valuable insight into this physiology and genetics of previously unknown branches of evolution. More little tidbits by Johan. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Oh! So it seems like what they're digging up are cryogenically preserved things. So that's what's in each of those blocks is what seems to be I like how this is going so far. I like the like the progression through it. I'm kind of surprised that the 
Nazis there. Only put up, like, Nazi stuff over in the front over there. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Okay. Great. Fantastic. That's not spoopy at all. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not one bit. Hello? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, what's down that way? Oh, gosh. Do I really have to go in the dark? Do I really? Great. Fantastic. Hello? Do we really have to go in the dark? Because I don't want to. <laughs> Great. Something going to happen as soon as I spin the wheel? Spin to win? Oh, never mind. Well, I guess I sort of spoke too soon earlier. <laughs> Today, a controlled experiment was conducted with the aim of reviving several specimens of previously discovered unknown branch in our evolution that had been found in a state of suspended animation for millions of years. The specimens were retrieved from beneath the ice of Antarctica and were carefully thawed in a controlled environment with constant monitoring of vital signs. <gasps> oh, that's where this is going. <laughs> Upon thawing, the specimens displayed signs of vital activity, including cardiac activity and lung expansion. The specimens were immediately connected to life support systems to aid in their recovery. Signed, Gut Homan. So, perhaps, what is rung amok here, whispering in the darkness, is one of these long-lost specimens to time. Okay. I did want to see if we could go over this way. I'm guessing we're not supposed to be able to... Aw. <laughs> no. <laughs> Darn. Okay. So, yeah, we can't go that way. That's too bad. I guess we shall have to continue on. And hopefully nothing comes to attack us. I'm sure this place is 100% safe. It's built up to code. Um... That, that does not bode well. Okay. That does not bode well. Hey, buddy. <clears throat> you appear to be very dead. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I haven't found any of the secret munchie pictures yet. Dang it. <laughs> oh, it's like a tiny, it's like a homunculus. Analysis of the creature's physical characteristics revealed a highly developed brain. Oh, that's right. They, they, wouldn't, they had um, like a, a, a previously like an evolutionary period of humans. Highly developed brain as well as an elongated skull and a skeletal structure unlike any known species. Or am I just second guessing myself now? Oh God. <laughs> Based on initial observations, the creature appears to have a thick layer of insulating fat, likely acquired through the, hunt the hunting and skinning of other arctic animals. It's also possible that the creature has evolved to produce its own internal heat, allowing it to survive in temperatures well below freezing. Further examination of the creature's physiology is ongoing, but initial observations indicate that it exhibits heightened aggression and a lack of response to pain stimuli. This, coupled with the creature's unknown origin and seemingly advanced cognitive abilities, has led to concerns about its potential danger. No, we'll just shove those aside. I'm sure it won't be, there's going to be nothing wrong with this at all. I cannot stress enough the importance of being aware of the potential dangers that this creature might bring and taking the necessary steps to ensure the safety of our team. Signed, Dr. Gout. Hello? Any munchy pics around here? So I don't have to go and see the mom's monster? Oh, great. That door doesn't look sus at all. <clears throat> oh, that's horrifying. I don't like it. <laughs> great. Great. Oh, it's person chunks. Ew. That's a very nice looking chair. I'm not scared at all. Can I just open this like a little bit? <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am not. I am not. I'm not ready. 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 I hate this. Hello? You appear to be extremely dead. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, great. Fantastic. That's a very long hallway. Have y'all noticed that? Locked. Great. Awesome. Have you ever noticed that when I get really scared, I stop animating? Like, my body just, like, freezes. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, this is great. I don't like- <gasps> what? Oh, behind us? Oh my god. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's not fun. Hello, friend. Oh, come on. No, you gotta be kidding me. No, did I go the wrong way? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
I think we might have been eaten. To be continued. Hey! Fantastic. Well, there we go. Made for the Frictional Monster Jam 2023 by Felix Seljaseth. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I am willing to be corrected. Anyway, thank you for watching and thank you, Felix, for making this. The only comment I have is I would really like to see this optimized a bit more, although maybe I should have reduced the resolution scale before taking off the stylized graphics. Well, at least it'll look a little different maybe if someone goes in with the stylized graphics. <laughs> okay, that rant aside, thank you again so very much for watching Kobolds. I love you all so very much and uh, go show some love to the people who worked on the submissions for this. There's a lot of art, there's all sorts of stuff, and the link to the Discord is gonna be in the description. I don't know where they're gonna be announcing, like all, of, or where they're, if they're gonna do a stream, like reviewing all of them or something they like they have done in the past. But regardless, again, I will see you all later, hopefully back with more of the Monster Jam submissions for 2023, because I, again, I just really like seeing all the people's creative work put into this in terms of like fan content. I love mods, all that sort of thing, as I find it really, really cool. And I want to highlight people who spend their time making those because basically, nine, um, you know, 99% of them do it for free. Most people just do it completely on their own spare time. And I think that's really awesome. Okay, that aside, <laughs> have a wonderful night, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you.